Good morning, Fakeaholic friends. This is a fig that was bred as part of the former UC Riverside um, breeding program, and it was just designated as UCR 18415. Um, John Verdick gave it a, a name of Strawberry Teardrop because of its shape and pulp color. Um, I know that I took some of these fruits to a gathering at John Verdick's place in San Diego um, maybe five years ago, and he was pretty impressed with the size of my fruits. His don't get nearly as large. This tree, I need to really cut it back. It's, oh, about 18 feet tall, and I can't get to many of those fruits. Um, but it makes some large fruits. Apparently, you know, birds um, like f finding them a good resting spot in fig trees after they've eaten some blackberries. We have wild blackberries growing around here. So this makes them growing this, or picking fruit from this tree even more challenging. But I, there's some here I can reach. So let me grab one here. I just got poked a little bit by the blackberry. So, I don't know, this is, you know, 150 grams, I'd guess, large fruit. Um, let me take a bite into it. So unfortunately this one was spoiled some. Very juicy. I think it got poked by a bird back there I'm seeing now and I didn't notice that when I picked it. Let's see, I saw another large one down here. Not as large, but still getting up there, 130 grams I'd get. Doesn't feel quite as ripe. These can get to be a fairly dark red color when fully ripe. Unfortunately, they're a good target for birds. Some of the birds often damage them. I don't have the bird scare device in this area here. You hear the blackberry damage this fruit here, but I just want to get one that might be darker red. Nope, that one's was damaged too much by that blackberry and it was spoiled. Let me go around the other side. Now sometimes they're quite small still and ripen. So here's a much smaller one. And more intense berry flavor, very nice. Um, and you know, I'm gonna guess that maybe this wasn't caprified because of the size difference. I say that's moderately to very sweet and a medium intensity of berry flavor. Um, it's quite productive. You can see all the fruit on it here. Um, just trying to see if I can find one more over here that's right. But that's it, you get an idea. It's a large, productive tree. Um, you know, it gets too large for us here. We need to do more controlled pruning of it. Now, I just noticed one more, and this is a pretty large fig, and this isn't as sweet as the other one, but it wasn't fully ripe yet, but again, it's a darker red pulp, so... Again, UCR 184.15 or strawberry teardrop. And here we can even have ripe blackberries in our fig tree. Thanks for watching.